Now, Action Aid Nigeria, in collaboration with Women Environmental Program, has resolved to improve countries' contribution and representation to global climate change discussions ahead of the upcoming COP29 summit in Baku, Azerbaijan. Action Aid Nigeria, in conjunction with Women Environmental Program, called on the federal government to set an agenda to, that seeks to resolve current climate change issues currently affecting the livelihoods of Nigerians. Both civil society groups made their contributions at a meeting in Abuja. Our correspondent, Ogundana Endola, has the details. Country Director, Action Aid Nigeria, Mr. Andrew Mamedo, in his remarks, called for improved funding from the federal government in tackling climate change issues in the country. Let's have the conversation with the government, not just our civil society or citizens group, but what is our government, government of Nigeria, taking to the table in the conversation? Do we agree? There are areas we will agree, and there are areas we probably not agree on. I will tell you one area we don't agree on. Is government investing enough in, uh, in the area of climate, ch climate change? The answer is no. The government can definitely do more. So we can do an analysis around what government is investing in, um, in, in for climate change right now and how are we uh, actually um, doing the talk, not just talking about it, but doing the talk. Now, this dialogue organized in partnership with WEB is for us to develop, um, together we harmonize our position and develop key messages and craft a unified Nigerian stance as we approach the COP29. We'll ensure that the priorities of women and young people are central to the discussion on climate justice. Meanwhile, founder Women Environment Program, Mrs. Priscilla Chapa, in her remarks, called for improved engagement between civil societies and federal government in tackling climate issues. And so, it is very important for all of us. We must engage. Please, as young people, stop sitting on the fence. Engage your leadership. We have the Ministry of Environment, Department of Climate Change. You have the ministers, both senior and junior. You have, oh sorry, not junior, Minister of State. You also have the National Council on Climate Change. At the state level, they need you. They need your knowledge. They need to know what is happening. Also, Vice Chairman, House of Representatives Committee on Environment, Honorable Tessa Ugbo, in his remarks, advocated for quality investments, better projects, and improved funding to curb climate issues and improve agriculture in the country. So I just want to encourage us um, to look at how we can explore better opportunities and better funding channels. Of course, better pipeline of projects that are climate smart and can actually uh, help us to showcase uh, what we're all about and the needs and the challenges of Nigeria uh, at the next uh, COP29. The event was conducted to address climate issues affecting livelihoods of Nigerians. From the nation's capital, Ogudan Eniola, ADBN News.